Good morning to you. Hi, Savannah. The White House says 15 million people have now visited the website. It insists the site is improving and some people are getting through and signing up. But it isn't saying how many, and by some estimates, it could be less than 1% of the website traffic. If the Obamacare website were a patient, it would probably be in intensive care by now. More than two weeks after its rollout, healthcare.gov is getting failing grades from supporters. I hope they fire some people that were in charge of making sure that this thing was supposed to work. And the White House itself. Despite the glitches that we acknowledge and that absolutely must be fixed, uh, people are getting on and enrolling. The Washington Post has called it a complete train wreck. The Milwaukee Journal Sentinel says the administration needs to fix the problems and fix them now. At healthcare.gov, we're live web chat assistance is also available. Not right now, it's not. On October 1st, we met the Schultz family in Phoenix, eager to sign up for insurance through the federal website. 17 days later, they still haven't been able to finish the process. As time went by and we realized that this was taking longer than expected to sign up, um, you know, the excitement became more like a question mark. Um, but we're not giving up. When you see this as a software programmer, what does it say to you? Amateur hour. It looks like it was created by someone who's never delivered commercial software before. Luke Chung owns a software programming company in Virginia. A user should never see this. This would, this would barely make beta testing. All right. One potential problem, the website demands oh, users gosh. input their personal information before they even begin to window shop for insurance, something retail websites like Amazon.com don't do. Programming experts say a lot of work needs to be done. If they don't change management, this project is doomed because we've already seen what the existing management considers ready for shipping, and it's not. There are allegations that the administration waited too long to draw up the blueprints for the website, then had too many contractors involved.